Hello guys and gals, Wildman Rider here. Today we'll be unboxing this beauty here. Recently a company called Golden Mate sent me out this battery. And so we're going to be unboxing this today and I'm going to use this for a little project. But I don't have all the other parts yet so we're going to start with unboxing this beauty here. This is the Orion 1000 battery. And this is a LifePo battery, 12 volt, 100 amp hour. And it's also Bluetooth capable, which is really freaking awesome. First of all, I'm gonna get these little cables with it. A couple little connectors. It's like a instruction manual. Definitely will probably be needing that. Ooh, wow, that is cool. Let me slide this back over here. And here it is. Look at that. That is freaking cool. It's got little carry handles. Put it up here closer so you can see it good. It's like it's got a little display on top. Yeah, positive and negative terminals. Here, let's move this camera in closer. Oh, that's where those little plugs plug in, I guess. All right. Actually, turning this thing on is very simple. As you see, there's a little plastic shielding on there, and it's going to leave it on there for now. The little sticker came on there. But if you look, it looks like a little button right there. It looks like a fingerprint on the screen. So you just touch that, and voila, the battery comes on. It's already got 83% charge in it. That's pretty awesome. And what these for, these communication ports, so if you hook multiple of these batteries together, you could either do a, you know, either way you can have them in a series or you can just have them parallel and you use these to connect in between the batteries to communicate with all of them see these things are pretty cool pretty flexible and you can do a lot with them so what i'm going to end up doing with this as you will see i'm going to try to make my own little solar charging station for my e-bikes we're going to try one out with it and Probably it'll end up being more of a proof of, proof of concept than anything because I don't know if the panel and stuff I got is how efficient it's going to be right now. But uh, I mean, this battery is going to be a huge help as long as I can keep it charged up with the solar panel. But we're going to try, and that can be an expandable project. If I want to make it bigger, I can just add more batteries to it. That's pretty freaking cool. This thing has a waterproof rating of IP67, so that's pretty good. That means uh, yeah, normal use, it stays outside and it gets rained on a little bit. Should be fine. Normal use should not uh, cause it any problems. But like I said, it is sealed, so yeah, that's pretty awesome. Yeah. Can't wait to, like I said, get the rest of my uh, stuff here so I can get this thing hooked up. And as soon as we do that, I'll uh, continue on with the video here, hopefully in the next day or two. Also, too, I was going to show you, uh, this uh, battery also has a Bluetooth app. And the app, it, you just, in the instruction manager, just take a picture of the uh, QR code. And it'll take you in here to the, in the app store on your phone. And you download the app, and you're going to open it here. Of course, it show all of my uh, Bluetooth devices, but there's our battery right here. Yeah, look at that. Ain't that cool? It shows you how much percentage is in it, what your voltage is at. And if you're charging it, it'll even tell you how quick it's charging, how quick it's discharging, all the temperature info. That is freaking cool. And I can't wait to get the rest of this stuff. So, yeah, when I get the rest of this stuff in, and we'll... Uh, get the solar panels and stuff hooked up and I do do look like I need a, a cable to hook it from the battery to the 
power inverter. So I got this small little power inverter I'm going to try to use with it. Hopefully it's big enough. If not, I'll have to get a bigger one. But like I said, I just want to do this as a little experiment here and see how it does. See if we can charge a bike with it. Anyway, I'll continue this on when I get the rest of the parts on. All right, guys and gals. We're back now because I uh, want to continue on my Golden Maid battery project here because I did get my solar panels in. So, uh, yeah, we're going to get the hook this, uh, put them together. And but first of all, I want to go ahead and hook this power inverter to it to see if how that's going to work first. So, move the camera up close here. Because, yeah, I did get a pretty uh, cheap power inverter. So, hopefully it works okay. So, yeah, we're going to get this thing hooked up here to the battery and... See if it comes on and we'll try to charge something with it first to, just to test out that concept to make sure all that works first. So I'll be right back once I get that set up. All right, guys and gals. So now we're back. I uh, got the power inverter hooked up here. Got it wired up to the battery. But, and I'm going to use it to try to charge my phone. But first of all, we're going to go ahead and open the uh, Golden Meat battery app here. So we can take a look at the battery. And there we go, we're connected to the battery. As you can see, we're currently at 83%, just like it shows on the screen. Like I said, I have not charged it at all since I got it. But it's still at 83%. All right, I'm gonna set this down here. And we're gonna flip on the uh, power inverter first and see what it says. All right, it's powered lights on. Yeah, and you can see it's uh, starting to draw current from the battery. Put that up closer so you can see it. The light screen on the power inverter. All right, so let's hook up my phone here. See if we start. Yep, let's see, and it is charging. Yep, you can start to see the battery draw here. So so far, my power inverter is working. And that was already at 96% charge, so it doesn't need very much. So far, the battery's still sitting at 83% on that screen. It says it's uh, drawing about 10 to 13 watts there. So not very much from it. So in the solar panels I got are not huge. I mean, they're 225 uh, watt ones. So it should give me 50. And it comes with this uh, waterproof 8 amp controller. And I can uh, think of all kinds of uh, possibilities that I can do with this with this battery. How oh, else well, fails? I lose power. I can at least power up things and charge uh, phones and stuff. Maybe run some LED lights. Meanwhile, while I'm waiting, I'm starting to put my solar panels together. But yeah, we have one up uh, one percent. Now we're at ninety-seven percent battery. Full. Still at eighty-three percent on the battery. All right, I got the panels put together, and look at that, we're at 100%. So, yeah, that proves our concept. It does work. And, I mean, this inverter didn't even get warm, so. So, now, yeah, we can definitely try it on uh, something much bigger. All right, guys and gals. So, I got the uh, solar panels and the battery hooked back up again this morning. Now, we got a, so far, a full sun today. It's just pretty smoky, but. We got it set up out here, getting sun here, and so far right now, looks like we're getting about half of uh, the power we should, I think. So yeah, we're getting like 24 watts out of the two, and I did unplug one of this to make sure they were both working, and they are. So if I unplug one, it, it drops down to about 10 or so. But right now at this rate, it says it should be fully charged in 9.4 hours. So yeah, we'll see what happens here. Maybe we'll start getting a little more out of them as the sun comes up a little more. All right, guys and gals, we'll give you a quick update. The panel's still sitting out there. Now they're getting more sun. And that's what I'll show you here. So yeah, now we're getting around 30 watts. I have seen it go up to 32. It goes back and forth between like 29, 32. But now we're dropped down to six and a half hours remaining. And we're already up to 86%. So yeah, it's uh, charging nicely now. So yeah, we should be charged pretty soon. And uh, 
Yeah, then we'll try charging the bike with it and see how it does. All right, so to give an update here, I moved the panels around the other way here because the sun's like overhead now. And a little bit more that way. Look at the app here. And we're currently at 92%. And it's charging at like, yeah, it just went up a little bit, 33.7 watts, down to 3.4, 3.5 hours. So yeah, it's actually doing pretty good right there. So yeah, I think this might actually uh, be a viable thing here. You see, if, if I only use it for small bikes, it still should work. The battery temperature is doing fine. It's a little worried with it sitting in the sun like that, but it doesn't seem to be bothering it any. All right, guys and gals. Well, now I'll pull out my phone and I'll show you. Man, it's really hot out here, so this probably isn't the best time to do this, but I want to do it while I've got it charged up good here. It's all right, so now I've got the battery connected, and I'll show you here. We're at 100% now. I don't know if you can see that because that sun is so bright out here. But we are at 100%, so I'm not going to take it easy on it either. The only back I got that really needs to be charged right now is this dual 48 volt. Back, it's down to 85% right now, which isn't much, but uh, hey, it does have two batteries, two 48 volt batteries, so. Those are 48 volt, 20 amp hours each. So yeah, that's, that's going to be a lot of charging for this thing. So uh, let's see how it does. I'm going to try to charge it up here. I got everything plugged in. I just need to turn the power inverter on. Let's see if it can handle it. Showing voltage there. And our chargers does say it's charging. Yep, and that, that power inverter is definitely working a lot harder this time because it's got this little fan on. I kind of got it in the shade to try to help keep it cool. And we are charging both these batteries. So we'll give that a little bit and come back and check on it and see how it's doing. Yep, and you can see it there. Yeah, it's discharging at a lot higher rate than we were charging for sure. Yeah, 22.7 amps minus 297 watts, 298 watts. Yeah, so that's about half capacity of that. Uh, power inverter if it's truly what it says it is all right guys and gals well as you see i've got a green light on the bike charger over there or hopefully you can see that but anyway it is fully charged it only took maybe two hours but it was only like uh, 15 percent of this 40 amp hours of battery to charge but and let me start up my app here and i'll show you of course, now I'm not really getting any solar anymore because the sun's went down. But it went down to 72% battery, so that's not actually too bad. Actually, a little better than I thought. I thought it would use most of it, but it didn't, so that's actually pretty cool. So, yeah, I can definitely see this working even with one battery like this. Uh, I really probably need more, more solar panels or bigger ones to make this work efficiently, but the power inverter did its job very well and it charged that bike so and that's only a 600 watt power inverter and it is a modified wave and i did get that off uh, off of timu so and if you want i can put a link to that in there and i'll put a link to the panels and of course the battery i'm definitely going to put a link to but yeah this did freaking work so yeah my uh Mila DK300 Max there is fully uh, charged. Like I said, I'll, as you can see there, green light on the charger. So yeah, it proves that it did work. So uh, I hope you enjoyed this. I mean, I, I thought it was a really fun project and I had a lot of fun doing it. Like I said, I just did this more as a proof of the concept that it will work. And this battery is just very versatile. I want to say again, thank you, Golden Meat, for sending me that battery. It is like really cool. Love that thing. It's Bluetooth. I mean, it has so many uses. You know, uh, it, you can use it as a boat battery or anything that needs like a deep cycle battery. You know, it's you can use it for camping. So many things you can use it for. And it's really cool. You can just hook some solar panels up to it and charge the thing up and charge stuff even e-bikes with it and that's pretty awesome you can charge your phone tablets laptops 
and it's going to work just fine. Let's get you a power inverter. They don't cost much, and have fun with it. So if you uh, want to get one of these batteries, uh, please check out the description, and I'll put a link in there for it, and any other codes I may have for it. Please like, subscribe, and share this video with others. I really appreciate the support, and I'll see you in the next one.